sanitation situation in Ghana needs a lot of work. Let's, let's be honest with each other. However, I think as each community takes action on its own, it shows what can be done individually and collectively. We want communities to, to take responsibility for their own situation, and each community can inspire the community next door, and that will have a multiplier effect. I'm certain we can get there. Look, I was just in uh, Morocco, uh, and I say that because um, Morocco has outlawed plastic bags. All the bags are, are now disposable, not necessarily paper, but, but some product that will degrade very quickly. If we reduce the plastic in the environment, it has a great effect on our oceans, on people, on the fish. So this is just a step. And gathering up all this plastic and sorting this plastic is very important. I would like to see Ghana follow that example. Rwanda and Senegal have also outlawed plastic bags, and it's made a big difference in the cleanliness of those cities. So one of the reasons that we're very focused on plastic this morning is because we want people to be conscious about the impact that plastic has on sanitation and on their health. So when are you calling for a ban of on plastic products? I, I'm calling on people to think about how they use plastic and whether there are better alternatives.